Well, good afternoon or early evening, uh, depending on, I guess, on where you're watching this from. It's the Utopian Cafe for Thursday, October 7th. We are just 30 minutes away from the Durham Bulls and the Atlanta Braves playing game five of the South Division Championship Series. And then the table's set as the Cincinnati Reds the San Diego Padres and the Toronto Blue Jays await the winner of this game to set up the table. What is the table? What is the Utopian Baseball Universe? All great questions. The table is uh, our final four. And of course, uh, if you're a member of the Utopian Baseball Universe for uh, any period of time, uh, we are a 32 team uh, fictional uh, league. It's not fantasy baseball. Um, but it's a fictional league that we uh, tell a story for uh, for seven months uh, for the for the regular season. For the most part, we pull box scores from the past and then we hit shuffle. We assign those results from uh, the past to our schedule. You, the universe, choose the dates. I hit shuffle and we tell a story. Uh, one game a day is simulated on Xbox and our entire postseason is simulated on Xbox, so you will actually see the Bulls and Braves today as you've seen every inning of the postseason. Yesterday was the greatest day in the history of the universe as far as action on the field. The Cincinnati Reds, in a deciding Game 5, uh, beat the Cleveland Indians. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't even remember the score. I think it was 5-3. Indians led 3-2, to two, entering the ninth with two outs. Jay Bruce with an RBI single to tie it, and Barry Larkin with a two-run homer to win it. The Atlanta Braves were two outs away from advancing to the table with a two-run lead. They were up 5-3, and uh, they gave up an a infield single. I believe it was to Glaber Torres of the Bulls. Gio Urshula hit a two-run homer to tie it. And then in extra innings, um, again, and I believe this was with uh, two outs, um, Urshula had another single, or uh, Torres had a single, Urshula singled, and then Keston Hira of the Durham Bulls with a two-run double to give the Bulls the lead and then eventually the win. And that's why we're here today uh, in Atlanta, Durham versus Atlanta, game five, Greg Maddox versus Matt Harvey. And then our table will be set. So uh, it's going to be uh, hopefully a really good game. Uh, Harvey beat Maddox in game two. Uh, that was the game. Uh, the Bulls won three to one. J.D. Martinez had a late homer uh, to give the Bulls the lead. So uh, a lot of great things happening. Major League Baseball's divisional series are actually starting right now. Uh, the American League kicks off today with the White Sox uh, versus the Astros. Uh, Rays versus Boston, and then tomorrow, uh, game two of those series, and then the National League starts with the Brewers and Braves and the Giants and Dodgers. Uh, quick story, I wanted to watch the National League game last night from uh, Buffalo Wild Wings in uh, Glendale. I was actually going to do a quick show from the restaurant last night, and uh, as soon as I got there, there was a sign on the door that said, uh, the restaurant uh, is closing at 8 o'clock due to staffing. I was like, okay, well, I'll just watch a couple innings. Uh, went in, and for five minutes, I stood there uh, behind uh, two couples, and then there was someone uh, that came in behind me. There was not a single employee to be found. Um, there was nobody at the bar. There was nobody at the uh, little greeting stand. So I, I gave it like three to five minutes, and then I walked out, um, and I watched uh, the first couple innings at Leonardo's in Mequon. Uh, had a, as uh, Chrissy would say in The Sopranos, or I think it was a, actually a John Favreau line, uh, a Coke and a slice. Uh, so uh, it was good to see Mark and the crew at Leonardo's last night. Um, and that's how, I, that's how I enjoyed the game. Uh, uh, tonight I'll be at work, so I'm going to miss uh, the uh, the games, uh, the American League games today. But uh, I think I'm only working till one tomorrow. I'm going to see all of it 
tomorrow. So I'm very excited. So um, before I actually got to the restaurant last night, uh, I went to Barnes and Noble um, and I love a bookstore. I, I could spend hours, days. I could spend a week in a bookstore. Um, and I looked at some history books, some po poetry books. But of course, what did I walk out with? Uh, three baseball books. So I'll share these real quick. And then we'll get to uh, our birthday celebrations and uh, welcome some uh, new members. So uh, a friend of mine actually bought me a book uh, for my birthday uh, by a gentleman named Joe Posnanski. It's called The Baseball 100, and I'm going to read that very shortly. Um, and I've read uh, books by this gentleman before, so I picked this up last night. It's called The Machine, um, and it's about the 75 Reds. And I was born in 75, so uh, I'm looking forward to putting this in my queue. Uh, this one I haven't read yet, but I heard this is the definitive Ty Cobb book. I think we've all read the Al Stump uh book and it's widely regarded as one of the worst uh baseball biographies out there this i've heard is one of the best this is ty cobb a terrible beauty uh the author is charles learson so i'm looking forward to reading this uh very much so and then uh we've actually welcomed about nine new members to the group in the last 24 hours uh one of them i've actually reached out to in the last uh, couple hours his name is ethan Bryan. And uh, he's a writer, and I saw this in my bookstore last night. This is called A Year of Playing Catch by Ethan Bryan. So I can't wait to read this. As soon as I saw this is actually, when I saw this on the shelf, I'm like, I put another, I'm not even going to say what it was, but I put a third book back because I was intrigued by this. Of course, uh, my talk show in December uh, that's debuting on December 7th is called Having a Catch with Joey Buckle. So I really can't wait to read this. I actually wrote to Ethan uh, this afternoon. He wrote me right back. Uh, he's going to be a guest on the show. So really looking forward to reading this. Uh, welcome, Ethan. Also want to welcome uh, Stanley Lunden, uh, Gary Umstetter, Bruce Markison, Marianne Puma, John Bo or Justin Boyd, John Arthur, Francisco Gonzalez and Harmony Arsel to the Utopian Baseball Universe. They've all joined today. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, a lot of these people are just Facebook friends of mine that I just said, hey, come on, let's let's get on board here. Uh, so uh, welcome to everybody uh, and Ethan as well. Can't wait to talk to you about the book. Uh, so uh, we've got a birthday to celebrate today. Diana Rakowski celebrating a birthday. Happy birthday to Diana. Um, and uh, very shortly, in about 20 minutes, uh, we'll be going live to Atlanta for the Durham Bulls and the Atlanta Braves. Again, Matt Harvey versus Greg Maddox. Casey Stengel, the manager of the Bulls, uh, has submitted his lineup. Bobby Cox has done the same. You guys are going to hear that uh, in 20 minutes as we present Game 5. Tomorrow at 4.15 Central. Uh, we're going to have guests on. They have a new show in Philadelphia, uh, uh, in the Philadelphia market, a radio show. Uh, they're going to be on the show tomorrow to talk about that. 4.15 tomorrow. Sal Tartaglia, he's a guest, a uh, friend of the show. He's been a member of the group for a while. Mark Mancini, I've been on his show in the past. And Marianne Costello are all going to be on the show tomorrow at 4.15 Central to talk about their new show. Very much looking forward to that. Uh, no games tomorrow in the Utopian Baseball Universe. Uh, so really looking forward to giving them an opportunity to talk about their new show. And then uh, next Tuesday, uh, so what would the date be? The 10th, 11th, 12th, October 12th, Tuesday, October 12th, we're going to welcome back David Rubin, David Wu from 401 Sports, and we're going to talk more about uh, their company, how you can um, participate in what they do. Uh, and, and that's going to be a regular thing going forward uh, in the Utopian Baseball Universe. We're, we're going to try to have them on every Tuesday starting on the 12th. So uh, we've come to that time. We're 20 minutes away from Bulls Braves Game 5 of the South Division Championship Series. 
The winner will face the Toronto Blue Jays at the table. The winner of that series will face the winner of San Diego Cincinnati in the second ever Utopian Baseball Universe Championship Series. I'm excited. I hope you are the same. Join me in 20 minutes for that game. Uh, the simulations usually take 30 to 40 minutes, depending on uh, if it's good pitching or if it's a slugfest. If it goes extras, but that's coming your way at 4:30. Uh, so hope everyone's having a great Wednesday, uh, Thursday, 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 uh, and we'll see you shortly. Take care.